And ladies and gentlemen, you are again listening to the voice of Dr. J.R. Brinkley of the Brinkley Hospitals in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I trust that I may have your attention for the next few minutes regarding some matters of vital importance to you as a healthy man and healthy woman, or as a sick man and sick woman. Because I have some information that I want to give you free of charge. It's not going to cost you anything. But I can't give you this information until you tell me where you are. I must have your name and your address. And if you'll do this, sending your letter to the Brinkley Hospital of Little Rock, Arkansas, asking for my book that I'm giving away, I'll take great pleasure in mailing it to you in a sealed wrapper, postage prepaid. Now, in this book, you're going to find many things of interest. You will find two blanks. One, a question blank for men, a question blank for women. Before you lay the book aside and misplace it or lose it or some neighbor comes in and borrows it and carries it away or you get busy with something else and forget it, fill out those question blanks and return them to me and I'll endeavor to answer your questions the very same day that I get your blank. I'll tell you what I think you should do. And if I give you a date to come to see us, if uh, I tell you that I want you for a consultation and examination in our hospitals in Little Rock, Arkansas, even though you are sick and discouraged and feel like that there's no benefit for you and that you have no hope of getting well anymore, you feel encouraged and take heart and realize that if Dr. Brinkley feels encouraged about you because of Dr. Brinkley's years of experience with thousands of cases that probably are very much like your own, that you should pick up hope and leave immediately and not delay another minute for the Brinkley Hospitals in Little Rock, Arkansas, and have that X-ray, blood chemistry, and microscopical as well as chemical examination that I tell you about. And when you have our examination, you're going to say, I have really been examined. This is the first time that I have really been examined. Yes, I think you'll agree with many, many others that the examination that you received in the Brinkley Hospital was the first real, complete, honest-to-goodness examination that you ever had. And then you are examined by us and then go into a private room and we sit down with you and explain our findings to you. It's going to come to you that I now know the reason why that I've never gotten any better. It's because my case has not been handled in the proper way. And I know that you're going to stay with us just like everybody else stays if they possibly can afford to stay and take treatment or have done for you what we recommend your having done. Now, in this book, you'll find a coupon that entitles you to one of my doctor books. On your first order, I don't send you the doctor book. The doctor book is a very big and expensive book, and I want to mail it to those who really want it and can appreciate the value of it. So this first book that I send you contains a coupon that entitles you free of cost to one of my doctor books. I ask you to give me the names and addresses on this coupon of men and women you know to be sick and suffering. Men and women who are taking treatments and not getting any better. Men and women who are physically able and financially able to come to see us. We will send them our literature and not mention your name. And in so doing, we may be the means and you may be the means of saving a life and bringing hope and happiness into some person's life that had otherwise despaired. Everybody don't have a radio, and no doubt everybody does not listen to me. So when you're listening to me and order the book yourself and see what a good book it is, and then you want to copy this doctor book, why you send me the names and addresses of some of your sick friends and loved ones and neighbors, if you know any of them that's physically able and financially able to come to see me, and in return I'll send you my doctor book free. But on your first order, I send you this big book, which is a valuable book, and it goes to you free also. And if you are a man when you order this book, don't forget what I've told you. If you think you have a diseased prostate gland, infected or enlarged, if you think your kidneys are in trouble or your bladder in trouble, just tell me so when you order the book, and I'll write you a personal letter of advice. It won't cost you anything, and I may be the means of directing you to good health once again. Also, when you receive this book that I'm mailing you, you will find 
uh, a radio receiving set pictured in it that I'm giving to you. A beautiful radio receiving set finished in ivory. A lovely set. It's sent to you by express charges prepaid. One set once a week to some man or some woman who has been prompt and accurate in returning the question blank out of the book that I send you. But, of course, don't send the question blank back just to get a radio set. Send the question blank back to get information about the disease that's in your body, the disease that's destroying your earning power, the disease that's causing you to keep your nose to the grindstone and spend every dollar that you can rake and scrape, and yet you continue to be miserable. Now, as I say to you, health is your most valuable possession. When your health is gone, you can en not enjoy life. And you can look around you in your neighborhood and you can see men and women who have neglected themselves until no power on earth can help them. When we stop to think that there are three million men and women sick all the time in the United States, it shows that somebody is to blame. And I must say that it's about a 50-50 proposition. About half of it's the patient's indifference to the disease until they got so bad nobody could help them. And the other 50 years that the patients, even though they were not indifferent and even though they started taking treatments immediately, yet they were incorrectly diagnosed, not properly examined, and not properly treated. So when we think of three million men and women that are sick all the time in the United States, we realize that something is wrong someplace. And I realized it many years ago. Because as I've told you in another broadcast, when I first began to talk over the radio and men and women uh, began coming to see Ms. Brinkley and me, why, of course, they told us that they'd been taking treatments at various places and had not gotten any better. So I realized at once that Dr. Brinkley must be a better diagnostician, Dr. Brinkley must give a better examination, Dr. Brinkley must provide a better treatment, if he was going to do anything for these sick men and women that was coming to him who had been taking treatments other places and getting no better. That's what caused me to begin studying and examining and diagnosing and being careful. And that has contributed to my success and to the welfare of thousands of men and women who have heard my voice over the radio and become our patients. Yes, we're busy all the time. We're busy examining people every day in the Brinkley Hospitals in Little Rock, Arkansas. We have two lovely hospitals, and we have patients, many patients in both hospitals. Many patients come into our hospitals and stay for a few days, and then go out in town and uh, call at our hospital daily for such treatments as they need to finish up their case. We have many outpatients. We don't insist that anybody stay with us unless their condition and disease condition is such that it's necessary and we do feel that we can do more for you if you stay in our hospital than if you stay outside. And our rates are reasonable. We're offering you room and board and general care by doctors and nurses for the small sum of $35 a week. And I don't know of any place that you can get the same quality of care and the same quality of service as you can in the Brinkley Hospitals for this low rate. And I do urge you men and women who are listening to me, if you are interested in becoming a Brinkley patient, or having a Brinkley treatment or a Brinkley examination, I advise you to not allow any grass to grow under your feet. Because much quicker than you expect, you'll hear me tell you that there has been a material increase in our cost to you. Now, I would like for you to come at once, come now, and save money. You can save money by coming to us now. And when you get this book that I'm sending you on your first order, turn just inside the front page and see an x-ray picture of one of our patients. Two great big stones in his urinary bladder. And this man had been taking prostate massage and medicine. No wonder he couldn't get any better. But the man had never been properly examined. That's why we make an x-ray picture of... In fact, we make two. We make two x-ray pictures of the bladder of every man that we examine. We're not satisfied with one picture. We make two. And then if that does not satisfy us, we pass the cystoscope and look up inside the bladder and see what's going on. We are looking at these cases, and we're examining these cases, and we are getting results of these cases. Just like Mr. Shipman from Greenville, South Carolina, whose letter I read to you, said that he had not walked without a cane and could hardly walk with the cane for the past 17 years. Finally, he come to me, and now he's walking without a cane. 
just in three or four days after we got a hold of him, we had the man walking. And here he'd been unable to walk without a cane for 17 years. No wonder, he says and exclaims. My only regret is that I did not go to the Brinkley Hospital the first time I ever heard there was a Brinkley Hospital. And he wrote a letter before he left our hospital, asking me to read it to you over the air, urging you men and women to not stay back any longer, not to stay away any longer, not to delay any longer, but to come to the Brinkley Hospitals in Little Rock, Arkansas, and see what he had seen and know what was being done, probably in a greater way than Dr. Brinkley had ever indicated to you over the radio. I try to tell you the truth in every statement that I make. Nothing misleading in any way. These statements that I make are true. These patients are true. And their sickness was genuine. You know, when a man can't walk for 17 years, there's something the matter with him. And then when he has something done that puts him to walking without a cane, something has been done for him. We've all got to admit that. And you men, you're holding back, many of you right now listening to me on these morning and evening broadcasts. And you know you're sick. You know your prostate's infected and diseased. And you know that unless some relief comes to you, that you're going to be in the undertaker's parlor on the old cold slab being embalmed for a funeral. Well, why do you hold back? Why do you twist around the old cuckoo Why do you delay longer and take chances when I'm offering you these low rates, this easy work, this lifetime guarantee of service plan? Come at once to the Brinkley Hospitals, Little Rock, Arkansas, before it's everlastingly too late.
Yeah.